All right, check out this video then from Kazahana. He makes great videos. Wuthering Waves is getting even more popular with this. With what? So, Wuthering Waves has a chance to go mainstream. Now, if you've been around on this channel, then you'll know that I talk a lot about Wuthering Waves and also the PlayStation version coming to it. I made about two or three videos on this, from whenever it was first... Four minutes, let's go. ...kind of tease, to the actual announcement, to now some new gameplay. And there is actually even more gameplay, which I will show in this video, which is just super exciting to see. Now, obviously, the announcement for it coming out on PlayStation has been super... Hopefully, it's not filmed on a potato, because last time... You really couldn't tell how good the game looked. You could tell it looked like it was running quite smooth. There was some frame drops because you could see a frame count and it was showing some dips here and there. But we couldn't really see if the game was uh, looking nice. I'm, I'm expecting it too because it's a PS5. But yeah, it was it was filmed on an absolute potato. Super well received and tons of Wuthering Waves players are super excited for it. As a lot of current players can play it on their console whenever they're, you know, just sat in bed or something like that. Especially True. with Wuthering Waves being one of those games where you've got to explore a lot and, you know, spend a lot of time in the game. But also it's good news for a lot of people who don't play the game at the moment and only have a PS5 and haven't been able to play it because either their phone wasn't good enough or they don't have a PC. But in or it just sucks ass to play games on a phone, especially these kind of games. So they're like, yeah, my phone's good enough, but I ain't doing it. In this video, I'm going to be going over a couple articles and also the new gameplay and explaining why this Wuthering Ways update coming to PS5 could actually help it go mainstream and boost its player count a ton. It's definitely going to boost its player count. Um, uh, hey, I might be wrong. Everybody on PlayStation might absolutely hate the game. The game's a good game. This is going to do pretty well on PlayStation, I think, uh, as far as I'm aware. Uh, you know, PlayStation seems to like the gacha space. Genshin and that do well. Uh, Zenlis is on PS5 as well, isn't it? I don't know where well it's doing. Um, but I think I've seen a lot of people in my comment section anyway saying that, you know, they've, they play a little bit on phone, but they can't play the game on phone because it's just not very, very much fun for them. And they can't wait to be able to get it on PlayStation 5. I think it's going to boost the player base quite significantly, to be fair. Um, but before I get into this video, don't forget to leave. Not like that's a hot take anyway. A like and subscribe if you enjoy it. And obviously go over to Gamer Subs and use my code Kazo where you can get yourself 10 I don't have a cold. I actually have an event going on at the moment, which is an early wink, Christmas wink. sale. I know it's like the end of July, so it's nowhere near Christmas. But they're giving away a ton of free stuff, including a free shaker and a ton of other kind of like merch stuff. So I definitely recommend you guys go check that out. But let's get back into the video. So whenever I do research for this channel, I look through a lot of news articles and a lot of just media in general to do with other ways. And then I stumbled upon this news article, which says PlayStation gamers stunned by new free PS5 RPG, no PS Plus needed. Now, okay, is that because it's, well, it, it has got co-op. Is that because it's not multiplayer? So how does it work with PS Plus now? If Because there's certain games don't require PS Plus, do they? And I don't exactly know how it works anymore. It's been that long since I've played on a PlayStation. I'm not going to pretend like I do, but that's, that's good. That's good because it sucks if you're getting a free-to-play game that you actually have to pay for to get on. And there's some people, you know, who can't always keep the PS Plus up. Some people just don't have it. Um, so the idea that you don't have to have that, if that is the case, that is a very good move. And I like to see it. This is by Gaming Bible. If you don't know who Gaming Bible are, they are a massive, massive, you know, gaming news site who became quite popular due to like lad bible and stuff like that and now they've expanded into stuff like gaming bible and obviously they are quite vague with the title here playstation gamers by saying new free ps5 rpg they haven't actually specifically said any game but this is actually to do with wuthering waves they say playstation 5 fans rejoice as you'll soon have a new rpg to play and it'll be completely free when it releases you won't even need playstation plus to claim it either if they are talking about uh, wuthering waves this is actually quite big for playstation players uh, I, I would imagine majority do have ps plus but there's still a lot of people that don't so this is really good wuthering waves is the latest gacha game to come out of china for mobile platforms where it's performing well however the developers career games are now targeting the playstation 5 and then they're going to say most developers of mobile gacha are sorry to keep pausing again i would like it's somebody in the comment section if you watch this video why do these games not come to the xbox i'd love to know um, is it just totally obvious that it's the American China situation? What is the deal there? RPGs tend to focus on the Japanese console, which is also home to Genshin Impact, Conquer Star, and the new Zelda Zone Zero. It seems that Wuthering Waves will be the next hit game to capture audiences with its anime styling and engaging characters. Now, obviously, yeah, Genshin Impact, Honkai Star, and Zelda Zone Zero are all already on PlayStation, so this is just amazing that Wuthering Waves is coming to it as well, and obviously, I've talked about this a lot in previous videos, and pretty much the whole article goes on to talk about the overall announcement of Wuthering Waves to playstation and why players need to play it whenever it comes out on the ps5 because as i said a lot of my videos there is a lot of people who don't play wuthering waves who don't play gacha games who are going to be enticed to play this game just because it's a free game that isn't that's true 
That's a good point. I think it coming out free, not needing PS Plus, people are probably going to try it. Um, and I think there's going to be a lot of people. I myself, I did it with Genshin. I laughed, mocked, took the piss out of the whole genre. <laughs> I don't want to play that freaking gacha gamba game. It just looks trash. And then I played it and then I was like, oh, okay, this is actually kind of fun. And in my opinion, my humble opinion, Wuthering Waves is even better. So I think there will be a lot of people who, like, you know, maybe mock the gacha space. Are oh, these mobile trash games are going to try it out and be like, oh, all right, okay, this is kind of spicy. I like it enjoyable the people just easily pick up on the ps5 and i just think that's great and the fact that you don't need ps plus to claim it as well which is a paid service that playstation have is also just amazing yeah, that's awesome and it will entice a ton of players especially ones that don't have a lot of money to play the game and maybe even just give it even better get get people who don't have enough money to uh, get hit by predatory gamba mechanics right what could go wrong a try even if it's for like a couple weeks or something like that and hopefully we can get a ton more players playing this game and obviously this article it being on gaming bible gaming bible isn't just like a gacha news site obviously i've covered a lot of news sites in the past which you know cover more gacha games than a lot of other sites but gaming bible is just overall you know games in general meaning that Wuthering waves is actually being noticed more by the general public That's is there anything specific in this article that claims this is oh wait there it does yeah you won't need to play well, the new ways is the latest gacha game to come out of China for mobile platforms. Okay, all right. I think so that adding it to just, PS5 will right, especially yeah. help with this. Because as you may know, there's tons of gacha games out there which are very, very niche and only gacha game players have really heard of them. Yeah. And obviously none of these are getting PlayStation releases or anything like that too. Now that may be down to their advertising or how they market their game. Which is odd because I, I feel like games like Brown Dust probably would do well on PlayStation just because of the the, uh, the, the, the history of JRPGs on playstation i just feel like that i feel like that's a good fit i do because obviously some games are marketed more at gacha gamers anyways because they think that they would enjoy it more but yeah gacha games aren't really that big of a thing worldwide it's more of a thing in asia and obviously there is a community of us who play gacha games as well but obviously there are a few anomalies like genshin impact honkai star and zelda zone zero which have actually made it into the mainstream this is mostly helped with their advertising and marketing over in the west i don't know if zenless has necessarily gone into the mainstream yet and I think Honkai kind of has, but Genshin definitely, definitely did. As well. And we're starting to see this with Wuthering Ways 2, which is super exciting to see. Because obviously, whenever Wuthering Ways first came out, they did do a very good job at making it global and, you know, advertising to all the areas that they could. But I think the overall problem was the popularity of the game worldwide. And adding it to PS5 will definitely help it, you know, become more popular and help hit a lot of those audiences that they're hoping to hit. As I said, we actually have more gameplay of the Wuthering Ways footage. I do think a round of advertising in the uh, West wouldn't do them any harm just to get out there to the normies. Because obviously us on the internet, you know, of course. Uh, but, you know, people who don't necessarily jump on YouTube to get gaming information or spend time looking around the internet to, 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 to get their gaming info. I think it could do well, you know, get some billboards up in the West. Maybe some, maybe, I don't know, maybe even some TV slots if they can afford to do it, which I'm sure they can. I think that will potentially do them well, but I do understand it's a new world now. You don't necessarily need that to get the to get the uh, the ROI, the best ROI. You just get it out to content creators, and they'll do the work for you. Um, but you know, Genshin do it, and the, and and I think Wuthering Waves do it as well out in the east. Uh, it's a surprise that they don't actually do that out in the west a little bit more. We can see this here. This is much better quality than the last footage we looked at. The other one was recorded on some okay. like potato like bonus. Right. I'm just trying to get a look at the FPS here. I wish I could see a little bit bigger of a... Something like that. But as you can see, the game looks very, very smooth. And I think this will definitely entice a lot of players too. Because obviously, lots of people won't be super interested in the fact that it's a gacha game. Or that it's some kind of like anime style game. They might just be interested in the overall graphics and stuff. Because they do look amazing. For a... I think the best bet as well, especially with games like Wuthering. I know they are a gacha game. But if they really advertise themselves as a JRPG, an open world a action JRPG, they will definitely get some people interested who might not even be into anime, so to speak. I know there's a lot of crossover. But, you know, I, there's a lot of people in the West who absolutely, especially normies as well, who are, you know, dads now, who remember the old days of playing JRPGs on the PlayStation 1, who might be enticed to check this out. And I suppose they're more likely to be potential whales as well because they don't have the time and they're going to be like, sweet, man, I've got a little bit of disposable income. The baby's in bed. Let's buy some waifus, man. Free game. I think that's just insane. And I hope that, you know, a lot of people do see this game, 
see the graphics they can offer and actually pick it up because obviously more players playing it on playstation equals more revenue which yep. means you know we're going to be getting a better experience obviously current games have proven that time and time again that they can spend their money wisely yeah. and make a game good especially with Chang Lee recently her abilities look super nice and i think they've put a lot of effort into designing it compared to a lot of the gadget games out at the moment which uh, you know don't really do it as much especially the higher ones Although recently there was some Honkai Star Wars news which did look really really nice with all of the new character animations which were technically leaks obviously I won't show that here but again they're looking really cool and I think that if Wuthering Waves wants to succeed and keep up with these gacha games then releasing it on PS5 is such a good move and I hope that they release it to other consoles soon. I was going to say I think they'd be better because I don't think is am I wrong is Genshin not on Xbox? Like because I keep seeing the like you know Xbox just keeps getting missed with this shit. So, getting it out onto Xbox, I think, would just be, it'd be sensible, you know, it's an extra player base, I know it's pro it's smaller, um, and there's a different audience, but I do think there's plenty of people on Xbox who would love to get the option to play a game like uh, Wuthering Waves, in my opinion, I, I don't see why not, you know, an open world, pretty, action, role-playing game you know i just feel like there's going to be a lot of people waiting to play that as i said in my previous videos you know xbox don't really deal with gacha games for some reason and nintendo don't really deal with chinese games is that is that on xbox though is that a decision made by xbox though or is that something some inter -cor corporate political thing going on though because i the way xbox seem to try and be now i feel like it doesn't seem like their MO to be like, no, we don't want that because it's got gacha. I just, I just, I just don't buy that. That's the reason. I could be wrong, and maybe it is. But I feel like there's something deeper going on there with, uh, with Xbox and uh, these games not coming to them. It's, it's kind of odd. Games. So it's going to be very unlikely that we'll see them on other consoles. But if we could actually get them on any of them, like in the slightest possible chance, I honestly think that Wuthering Waves would do so much better. As you know, this is a market that even you know Genshin Impact. Uh, people on the switch would love to play it as well wouldn't they if that's all they've got i do think that like and i know that nintendo are quite strict with how they do things and if if it's their their way of doing things they're not going to probably change for this but it, it, you know if they could get it running really good on a switch i think it'd do really well on the switch actually Conquer style and seller zero haven't touched as those are all games that literally just stay on the playstation 5 and obviously you know the other platforms that they're usually on such as pc and mobile but if Wuthering Waves so could get over to Nintendo Switch or over to Xbox, I definitely think that they would have an up on a lot of other gacha games. And even just coming to PS5, it cements themselves as one of the top gacha games out there because, you know, they've got such a large deal like this. But I also think it's not just a case of them getting deals with PlayStation, with Xbox, with whatever. I think the game's just, like, good overall as well. I think mm -hmm. that definitely contributes to how popular they are among gacha games. And, yeah, I can't wait to see where this goes, especially with a lot of the future updates, a lot of the future regions, because... I, I, I genuinely do think there'll be quite a lot of hype around the launch of this, if I'm honest. And I think, I think, I hope as well, because I like the game and I want to see more investment coming back into the game. I want to see it do well just so the game continues to get better and, you know, expands. Um, I, I think it's going to do quite well on PlayStation. I, I think there's going to be a lot of people out there waiting, ready to play this. So we're going to, you know, they're, they're going to, they're going to be, you know, chomping at the bit to get on it, really we're still kind of in the first region obviously you have mount firmament which is a new location but again that isn't a completely new region where no, it's a sub region isn't it really anything it's still part of jinjo so i'm super excited to see what kind of happens with that how it yep. looks because you know jinjo looks great. dude i cannot wait for the new nation I, I can't wait to get into an area that's just got a different vibe a different feel a different look of course i'm really looking forward to it great but i want to see how they go into their own little cultures and stuff which would be kind of cool to see and obviously it coming to ps5 will help this out a lot because they can generate enough revenue to create these places and make them even better i do think it'll be the big tell of how the game how well the game's going to do in long term this the first new nation has to freaking hit it has to slap not just the quests the story the characters the area has to slap as well. The echoes, the lot, like, you know, there's got a lot of work on the hands, but I hope that, I hope they pull it off. I'm sure the Kuro games are already working on the newest region, which is just oh, great. So. And I think that the new characters coming out in the next update do look pretty cool too. I mean, you know, they're not the most impressive, especially compared to a lot of other gacha games. But, you know, we did just have Jinshi and Chang Li, which are both amazing characters. And I don't think that the other ones are that bad. Yeah, that's pretty much all the PS5 news that I got for the moment. I'll keep you guys updated if there's anything else new. Obviously, I keep uploading right, videos go. on this. This might be my last one for a little while because it doesn't seem like we're going to see any more news until it's actually released, when I will definitely make a video. I think we'll probably, potentially, I reckon, if they're smart, we'll probably get a lot of trickle. You know, they're just going to like trickle out information now, drip feed it to us, um, different stuff. 
hinting at release dates, all that sort of stuff. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. But yeah, I, I'm looking forward to these as somebody who's not even going to play it on PlayStation. But I'm happy that people are going to get the chance to check it out. Video on that one. But again, the overall gameplay for the game is looking amazing, especially seeing it in a, like a more higher quality now. I think we can definitely see how good the quality is compared to PC and not have it running on some kind of like potato phone like we saw in the last video. It's super good to see that Wuthering Waves does have a chance to get into the mainstream, especially with the PlayStation collaboration. And I was just super excited to see Wuthering Waves featured in a gaming Bible article. Kind of cool as well, considering Zenly Sound Zero is doing this Street Fighter crossover. If they get it out on PlayStation and they can get a little bit buddy buddy with Sony and maybe do a Sony IP crossover. My only worry there is, though, it's fucking Sony. And if that happens, Sony will be like, yeah, we'll do that. But it's going to be exclusive to the PlayStation. And obviously, that'll be good for the Kuro and it'll be good for the PlayStation. But oh, fuck you, Sony, if you do that. Because it means that this game is getting featured, you know, across some more, you know, mainstream gaming sites. Yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Do you think Wuthering Waves will go mainstream in the future, especially with all the PS5 stuff? Or do you think it's going to be stuck in the I think it'll be mainstream within the space. I don't know if it'll necessarily go mainstream. I don't know. That's all on Kuro and how good the game gets, I guess. And I think what will really determine whether it goes mainstream, obviously the gameplay loop, which they've got. But if they tell some really top tier, amazing stories, I think that will de decide how uh, mainstream it goes. And potentially, if they make enough money, if they can somehow, like, I don't know, maybe make an anime series or something, or like a short anime series that can maybe pull in people, you know, a, a, like, you know, bring more people in to maybe make it mainstream. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Gacha gaming niche. And then we're not going to be seeing any more articles like this one. And that the overall public aren't going to be very excited for the game. But yeah, that's about all I got for this video. If you did enjoy it, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as I said, go over to Gamer Sub to use my code Kazo, where you can get yourself 10% off a ton of cups and tubs. And yeah, the link will be down below. Yeah, definitely, definitely check out check his link out the event that I as well. The start of the video. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. That's all. See ya. All right, good video. Yeah, um. I agree with pretty much everything he said there. Uh, nothing to do with agree with, just a little bit of news. Um, but yeah, uh, I think it's it's just good for the game, really, isn't it? There's, I don't think there's any negatives. E e more players are coming to the game, more potential revenue for Kuro. That means potential more reinvestment back into the game for us, you know, players that are already playing the game. And that's only a good thing. Uh, hopefully the launch goes well. Hopefully it, the game does well in general. And hopefully if they do do some sort of crossover with a PlayStation, that it's not something that becomes exclusive to PlayStation, because that would fucking suck. But that's kind of how Sony works. Sony, Sony works. So, um, yeah, hope that doesn't happen. But I guess it'll be good for PlayStation gamers if it does. But yeah, great video from Kazahana. Definitely check him out. And if you want to get yourself some gamer subs, check out his link as well and get yourself some, get yourself some gaming drinks. But uh, another good video. Um, should show him some love. Subscribe. All that good stuff.